Look, Mac, this is Yammy Jack, and today we got not survivalist. My goodness. I had to, to click on it to get rid of the stupid notification it kept giving me. Um, so I uh, I have an order coming today that's arriving by uh, 10 p.m. It's like pouring rain outside right now, so I'm like, ooh, that's that's a scary job, honestly. Like, it's pouring rain, there's wind, it's it's just, it's bad weather for driving. Anyway. I was I was showing my mother this that uh, that I have this order coming by ten, uh, and since I can't talk, I was just showing her the uh, the like order tracking on the Amazon app. But when I showed it to her, I apparently opened up my search, so it was showing the like search history. And uh, the, the, mostly the last thing I bought or was looking for on Amazon, I didn't buy the stuff on Amazon. Um, I bought it elsewhere, but I, I was looking on Amazon because I wanted to see, uh, you be dead. I, I believe I talked about it, but I, I was looking at, um, I was looking at all the Amazon listings for, like, sex stuff, because it's, like, funny on Amazon. Um, so, like, my search history is, I'll read, I'll read it out for you, okay? We have seamanship, health and personal care sex, and then health and personal care sex. Nipple clamps, rocks off, rude boy, rude boy rocks off, rude boy, prostate vibrator, anal vibrator, <laughs> prostate massager, and like if if you go down the list, it it just it just there's like anima bags and anima bulbs and you got you got uh, massage sticks in there somewhere and oh it's just uh, the the last stuff I was doing on Amazon was was poking through the. Uh, the health and personal care sections, and uh, and getting a good laugh out of the um, out of the uh, the advertisements for it, because they know oh, they just get so funny. It's so much fun to watch to, to read through them. Um, I'll read I'll read on my order history too. I don't buy it on Amazon. I have. Um, I met your buds, which arrived today by 10 p.m. The Annapolis Book of Seamanship, a WD Black 6 terabyte performance black internal gamer drive. Oh, I almost made it. Um, BB Run 3 in chest, 3 in 1 chessboard. Uh, R. Ruxia women's boy shorts. Uh, some running shorts. More underwear. And a charging cable. I don't, I don't buy sex toys on Amazon. Don't do it, by the way. Something fun's coming. But it was in my search history anyway, because uh, oh, I was looking yeah. it up for fun. So when I uh, when I showed my mother the arriving today by 10 p.m. thing, and, it, and I accidentally clicked on the search thing, it just came up with like all kinds of <laughs> sex stuff, and I'm like, oh no. Siren, she didn't mention anything. I don't think she cares anyway, if she even noticed. I don't care that she noticed. I don't care if she... Uh, she knows. I'm pretty sure they found my toys before, but it was uh, it was funny anyway. Cause I'm like showing it to her, I'm like pointing at the screen, thinking about like where it is, and I'm just like, there's nothing there, and I look at it, it's just my search history. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> oh. Well. We'll live. We'll live. On the topic of uh, of sex toys, if you ever hear this jingling in the background of videos, that that's 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 that is my nipple clamps. In fact, that's that's what this this jingling sound is. I'm not like using them. I just leave them on my desk because they're fun to fiddle with. <laughs> I I I you I uh. I, I use the nipple clamps primarily as a fidget toy because they're fun like you got like You know a chain with two clamps on the ends, right? And you can like clamp them on to stuff and then like Do things and the things that you clamp them onto don't necessarily have to be nipples So they serve uh, they serve a multi-purpose for me. They serve as a, as a fidget toy and then as a uh, other toy That's that's what this uh if you ever hear this in the video, you can you can rest assured that it's, it's nipple clamps. 
with the chain. <laughs> I love fiddling with them. I do it so mindlessly too. Like I just pick it up. Like it's fun because it's just it's just the chain. Like you know, you ever had like a chain that you get to just like pick up and then let it like kind of like fall up into your hand? Oh, it's so much fun. I don't know why, but I just I uh, I enjoy it so much. So it's it's one of my favorite toys, in fact, for for many reasons, but. For its uh, its its utility as as a fidget spinner replacement, definitely up there. On the topic of things that aren't sex toys, um, you know you don't hear any other sex toys, by the way. The other ones are kept in uh, in a different place because the other ones aren't fun to 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 to, to, to play with. Not because they're dirty. Okay, I clean them, but. Uh, it's just they're in uh, they're in a different location because of you know I'm not I, I, yeah I got I got I got all, yeah, I'll put it this way okay you know some of these toys are, are really made for a single use they're not 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 single use plastic kind of thing but just they have uh, a purpose and they fulfill that purpose very well they don't do anything else you know. If you got like a, a bunch of beads, you know, you can't fidgeting with them. I mean, it's it's kind of fun, but I'd rather fidget with the nipple clamps. And then once I have the nipple clamps, I'm like, why do I have to have uh, some beads with me as well? You know, like what what's the purpose of that? You know, I just I don't I don't see it. So, so they get stored somewhere else, but. That's what the sound is. I thought I thought you'd need to know. You know, you're on a need to know basis about the uh, the sounds that you hear in these videos. I don't know how loud it is. It's really loud for me, so I assume it's really loud for you too. But it is behind the microphone, so it might be fairly quiet. I don't know. I do not know. I love throwing grenades, man. I don't throw grenades often enough, but they're they they are fun. I'm, I'm, I like uh, because you got you got like um, different types of order tracking, right? I like when they show you like much more verbose information about where your your order is, because like for me, out for delivery is like good, but I like to know more, you know. I'm supposed to be here by 10 p.m. and I'm like, dude, it is pouring rain out there. I feel bad for whoever's driving right now. Like, don't get me wrong, I want them tonight. And if there was like, you know, a button that said, uh, "Hey, do you want us to uh, not deliver your thing today and deliver it tomorrow instead?" I, I wouldn't push it. <laughs> you know, like, I feel I feel bad because they're delivering stuff in the middle of the night when it's terrible weather but you know th this is the responsibility that you chose to take on so I'm not gonna say you shouldn't do it not to be entitled about it but like just literally like this is this is the the responsibility that you decided to take on it sucks <laughs> for sure but like you know so be it you know like when I was working in uh, customer service Sometimes you get some real nasty customers coming in, you know, it's not like, you know, other people be like, oh, like, you know, I'm sorry for, for being so annoying, like, but I need my stuff, you know, I'd be like, no, no, like, you know, it's fine, this is, this is what I chose to do, like, this is, this is the job that I do, you know, it's not a particularly great job at all times, but, you know, I chose it, <laughs> for the most part, so, you know, whatever. Oh, it's not even out for delivery. It says it's supposed to be here by 10 p.m., but it's not out for delivery yet. It says it's supposed to be arriving today by 10 p.m., but it doesn't have the check mark at the uh, at the arriving today. So I don't know if it's going to be here today or not. It's got two hours before it's 10 p.m., so I don't know. They got time, I guess, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, we'll see. Anyway. Yes, that's their job, is to deliver even in the bad weather. 
That's why I got a lot of respect for people who do uh, who do deliveries. Because to me, I, I couldn't drive in this kind of weather. Not a chance. You know, <laughs> that's why I'm not a. That's why I'm not a, I'm not working for the the postal agency or uh, you know anything like that. You know, that's why I uh, I choose. That's why I don't put insurance on my car. That's why I, uh, you know, live a life of uh, of leisure, mostly. Yeah, I know we got a flesh pound, dude. We got like. The Flesh Pound. He's he's the man, okay? You talk about Flesh Pounds and people are like, Oh, what's the worst Flesh Pound? And you know, Some people are like, well, it's the Quarter Pound because they're insanely weak. And then you're like, nah, actually, it's the King Flesh Pound because they have zero chance of killing you. Unless you happen to throw your life away by backing into a corner. Which can happen. Oh, I wanted to get a boost. He's a, he's a weak boy, though. He's a very weak boy. And I, I mean that genuinely. I think I'm more likely to die to normal flesh pounds than I am to king. I think I'm more likely to die to crawlers than to king flesh pound. Honestly, like if you look at the stats of my uh, my series, I think I die to more crawlers than I do king flesh pounds. Almost definitely. He's just not very dangerous. <laughs> like, you don't get any zeds while you're killing him because. It's just like the odd quarter pound, which is like nothing. And then uh, the King Flesh Pound himself only has one attack, basically, which is the uh, the laser. You can be like, oh, well, he also has the spin. Yeah, but the spin doesn't hit you if you just like do this. Now, all of a sudden, the King Flesh Pound can't hit you with anything other than the laser. The so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> He's a, he's a bit of a pathetic boy, anyway. If I'm quiet... You might be able to hear the, uh, the rain out there. That's how bad it is, man. I have, a, I have an okay microphone. It's, it's pretty decent at, uh, at only capturing my voice and not capturing the other stuff. But I'm pretty sure that that rain is going to be picked up. It's loud, dude. It's nasty. It's nasty out there. And this dude's driving? Well, it's a person. It's not necessarily a dude. Who says that uh, delivery people have to be men? Huh? Huh? Who says that? Not many people. But everybody will def default to man. You know? I guess we're on this, uh, this gender kick now. Um... If I, if I say that this poor delivery person is going to have a hard time delivering, I bet most people would say something along the lines of like, oh, you know, hopefully he's good at driving or, you know, something like that. Hopefully he can handle it. Hopefully he stays safe or whatever. They're going to assume that it's a man. Always. Almost always. They're, they're never going to go with like they. back in the game. Something like that, you know. The Whatever they say, it'll 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 assume that the uh, the driver is a man. Like my mother, actually, when I was showing her that uh, he's that uh, he, that uh, package is coming at uh, 10 p.m., she was like, "Well, hopefully he doesn't trip in our driveway." And she's like, "Well, why does he have to be a why does he have to be a he? Why can't he be a she? You know? Why why is why is why is the why is the delivery person gotta be a by gotta be a dude?" It's probably likely to be a dude. You know? Like, it's not like it's... There's a lot of sexism in everywhere, right? Like, women and women are perceived as bad drivers. They're probably going to have a harder time getting a job as a driver, is my guess. Um, so. Chances are it's a, it's a man. Um, it's also a dangerous job. Men typically tend to work disproportionately more dangerous jobs. Um, I don't know why. Like, I kind of know why. It's, you know, this this whole, like, need to, to be the breadwinner of the house and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, it's, there's a lot of just sort of gender 
garbage that happens in this world. It doesn't really need to, you know? Things that we as a society would be better off if we just, like, ignored, you know? Do not hit me with that. Anyway. It's coming at 10pm apparently, so I don't know. I was hoping we'd be able to like open it up and check. On uh, on camera, but I went and like, I looked before the episode came, because it was supposed to come today. And... Wasn't there. I was, I was hoping we could do like a little unboxing thing, but... It was, uh, it was not present, so. Oh well. Whenever it comes, it comes. I had to buy it because my old headphones, I bought them off of uh, Alibaba. They had good reviews. Um, and like, not just on Alibaba, but like on other sites as well. They were, they were generally fairly well received. Um, and I liked them. The sound quality was actually like pretty good. I, ex I, uh, I appreciated them a fair bit for the price that I got them at. Like they were on sale and I got them for like... $12 or $15 or something, I can't remember. Um, they are fairly affordable. They felt pretty premium. Um, but they broke. The right speaker is, like, dead. Um, they also, like... Like, I wear a lot of different earbuds. Right? Like, I do. I have, uh, I have my Samsung buds. I have, like, three pairs of wired buds that are all kind of, like, broken. Um... You know, I, like, I, I wear a lot of buds, like these IEMs, you know? Are you going to Goomba stomp me? I wanted to Goomba stomp you. So I have I have experience with them, right? And uh, I definitely have, I think, more waxy ears than, uh, than the average person. I, th I think that I'm on the higher end of, like, normal waxy ears. Um, so, you know, I, I definitely have earwax in the... Uh, And the like little cups and stuff, and you, you have to like clean it and stuff. Like it's fairly normal to to get earwax in your in your earbuds. Like you're sticking them in your ears, dude. Like <laughs> you're gonna get earwax in it, right? It's just kind of the way it goes. Um, and I think that I have particularly bad waxy ears. Um, not like super bad. Like it's not like terrible, you know. Um, it's just probably the higher end of normal, is all. Um, but most of my earbuds, when I, when I use them, you know, the worst case scenario is if, like, I haven't showered in, like, a couple of days. Like, showering, generally speaking, will, will clean out a lot of the earwax in your ears. Um, it'll just come out with, uh, with the hot water, the steam, it'll kind of loosen it up, and, uh, your ears will kind of just naturally shove it all out, um, and, and kind of keep it clean. Uh, that's why you don't clean the inside of ears like you shouldn't use q-tips and stuff like that to clean your ears like your ears are pretty well self-cleaning um you only really have to, to clean them out if uh, if your doctor tells you to and you won't do it with a with a q-tip you'll do it with um like a, a specialized device for for cleaning your ears which is not a q-tip um q-tips are used for uh, other stuff like cleaning stuff that's not your ears and you know, like what, what are what are Q-tips used for? Like I don't really use them all that often. I use them for clean my keyboard on occasion. Uh, what are Q-tips made for? It's just a cotton swab, right? Okay, it's just all people talking about how you shouldn't use it for your ears. Yeah, I know that. I just wanted to see, like, what's the main purpose of them. Like, I know you can use it to for, like, makeup at times. Not really makeup so much, but, like, some kind of stuff. Like, maybe a uh, nail polish remover or something. Um, like, that kind of stuff. Not, not like, applying makeup, because you're just going to get, like, Q-tip fibers <laughs> stuck in your face. That's not good. Um, I use it for cleaning my keyboard. Um... Also for cleaning my screens on occasion to like get into the corners and stuff. Um, I use it for. Uh, you don't want to use it for anything that where it's going to get into the electronics. Like you don't want it to, to be able to cause a short if uh, if some fibers get left on the PCB or something like that. But um, 
you know, for cleaning a lot of stuff, it's it's fairly convenient. Um, but probably like one of the main purposes is for like wounds, is my guess. Like to apply like some kind of lotion or something on a on a scrape, maybe alcohol, maybe I don't know. Something like that is my guess. I don't really know what their main purpose is, but the most common use of them is definitely for for cleaning an ear canal. And it's like, like if you look on, the, if you have Q-tips, like if you look on the box, it'll say on it like, "Do not use this for cleaning your ears. It is not for that. That is dangerous. Do not do that." And you shouldn't because it's dangerous and it's not good. What it does is it just like shoves more earwax deeper into your ears. Like you've been doing it for a while, you're not gonna probably have any issues really, but it. Uh, you don't need. You, there's just no need for it. Like your ears don't need to be cleaned out. Like it's they're fine. Anyway, um, my ear is probably on the higher end of normal waxy. Not super waxy. It's not like I'm like getting wax everywhere. But uh, you know, probably probably on the higher end of, of normal waxy. Typically, when I put an earbud in, there'll be a little bit of wax, sort of like in and around the earbud. Like I'm looking at my Samsung buds right now. I can see like. A little bit of wax like in it. it hasn't been cleaned in a couple of days now um, there's a little bit of wax it's not like major it's just you know a little bit of a little bit of wax you know it's just a little bit of uh, of uh, detritus from the from the ear canal um, and that's like normal right a little bit these other ones that I was using from Alibaba, like I pull them out of my ears and they're like just coated in earwax. They like they come out and they just be like like I have to like be cleaning them like during use. Like I'd, I'd be using them for a few hours and I have to like pull them out and like clean off the earwax off of them. And I'm like I don't know why these earbuds are like pulling out so much more earwax. Like are my ears like reacting to it and then like creating more, or are they just like made out of a terrible material for ears that the earwax is like sticking to like I don't know but like they would just be so covered in earwax anytime I would use them it would just be like terrible man okay we'll just like tank it it'll be fine so I don't know it, like it was not normal for me anyway but like I'd, I'd pull them out and they would just like like the the sound would like it I don't know if it's just the way they were built or whatever but just like like I'm looking at them. There's not really any wax in them right now because I cleaned them out. But uh, well, there's a little bit actually. I guess I didn't clean that one so well. Um, but I'd have to like constantly be cleaning them out to get all this wax out of them because it would be like blocking the sound, which is crazy because that's not an experience that I have with any other earbuds that I use, just those ones. So I don't know what's different about them, but they had a lot of problems. So I'm happy to get some new ones and. Hopefully I have a lot of those problems resolved. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thanks for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything else. See you next time. Bye-bye.